हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते मैं हूं डॉक्टर अभिषिता एंड आज हम बात करने वाले हैं विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डेफिशिएंसी के बारे में डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू द एम फाइन चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन टू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट फर्स्टली ये विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इतना इम्पोर्टेंट क्यों है uh, हम क्यों ये बार बार टेस्ट करते हैं या बहुत सारे लोग इसके टैबलेट्स या सप्लीमेंट्स क्यों लेते हैं सो बी ट्वेल्व इज एसेंशली इन्वॉल्व इन थ्री इम्पोर्टेंट फंक्शन इन द बॉडी वन इज रेड ब्लड सेल फॉर्मेशन सो इट्स डेफिशियंसी काइंड ऑफ लीड्स टू रिड्यूज ऑक्सीजन कैरिंग कैपेसिटी सेकेंड इट्स इन्वॉल्व इन डी एन ए सिंथिस एंड थर्ड इट्स डेफिशियंसी कैन लीड टू नर्व डैमेज एंड दैट्स वाई दिस विटामिन इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू बी वेल सप्लीमेंटेड इन Now, who are the people who are kind of prone to a B12 deficiency? So, pure vegetarians or vegans are prone to a B12 deficiency because B12 is present mostly in animal products like meat or fish or eggs or dairy products like uh, yogurt or cheese, uh, milk, etc. So, anyone who kind of stays off this uh, diet can have a B12 deficiency. Second, certain medication which are known as proton pump inhibitors or antacids, or certain diabetes medicines like metformin can cause B12 deficiency. Anyone who has an issue which involves your digestive tract, um, primarily your stomach, your small intestine. So when I say issue, I mean things like autoimmune disorders. surgeries which are involving your uh, digestive tract you can have a b12 uh, deficiency and one very specific subset of people are there who have something known as pernicious anemia and they can have again a b12 deficiency so how does a deficiency kind of manifest itself what are the symptoms so symptoms are basically around two major problems or issues one is anemia and second is a nerve damage so you can have weakness tiredness pale skin palpitations you can be out of breath and so all of these are kind of signs and symptoms of anemia second is you can have numbness tingling loss of sensation especially of the feet or hands which can lead to frequent falls uh, you can also have loss of vision which are again revolving around nerve damage and apart from this you can have symptoms uh, like due to digestive tract which is constipation di- um, uh, diarrhea loss of appetite um, uh, bloating you can have a very smooth tongue known as glossitis so this is kind of essentially what are the symptoms around b12 uh, deficiency it's important to remember that we have very good amount of stores of b12 in our body so these symptoms take a very long time to manifest itself but again it's very important to catch the deficiency early and be corrected as soon as possible so how do you get diagnosed with a b12 deficiency so the doctors um, going to prescribe a vitamin b12 test for you which is either serum or plasma b12 and if the levels are around lesser than 200 uh, micrograms is when you are diagnosed with a deficiency of b12 So how do you go about correcting a deficiency? So there are two broad approaches to it. Either you supplement your diet with a B12 rich diet which again as I mentioned before animal dairy products and how much do you need to take in a day? So for kids you need to take about 0.4 micrograms and for adults it's about 2.4 to 2.8 micrograms um in a day. or it can get corrected with tablets or injection so all of this the method of correction is largely dependent on how severe your deficiency is and what symptoms you are manifesting so this is decided by your doctor or your treating physician so tablets can be b complex or just purely b12 tablets uh, or the same thing is available as injections so very important b12 is important for our red blood cells it is important for dna synthesis it is important to prevent nerve damage that's why the levels are checked so often that's why you get supplemented with these medications if you are found to be deficient in b12 don't forget to like and share this video for more such videos do subscribe to the m fine channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update